What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another reaction video. So in this one I'm checking out Mr. Bill Murray. And this one is um zombies, shotties, and good spread. Alright guys, yes, can really check it out. So if you're new to the channel guys, welcome and over before you leave that you will subscribe, become a part of the family, you know? Yeah. So let's go. <laughs> I want to get a gun. I do. I really do. I never right. had that feeling before until I moved out to Los Angeles. This city just messes with your mind, you know? It's overpopulated, technically doesn't have a water supply, right? The dollar's crashing. Shit keeps you up at night. You're just thinking, what am I do when the zombies come? Right? Start reading up on shit, get some powdered food. Plant some zucchini. Get a windmill. Right? And that's all well and good, but if you don't know how to fight, all you're doing is gathering supplies for the toughest guy in the block. Right? Think about that. What am I gonna do? Some dude turns me upside down, starts shaking the gold coins out of my pockets. I gotta get a gun. So I'm on the road, right? I'm in Reno. Great gun town. So I go down to that little gun store, right? Come walking in, there's some redneck there. I'm like, hey man, I wanna get a gun. He's like, I hear you. What you looking for? What you want? Mossberg, over under, 357 Magnum, right? Such rattling off all this gibberish, right? I don't know shit. I'm trying to play it off. I feel like a bitch, because I don't know anything about guns. <laughs> I was like, what do I do here? <laughs> ah, hell, well, I go, I'm gonna go with the honesty. I go, look, dude, I don't know anything about guns. They terrify me but I'm worried about the zombies, all right? Dude's just like, you need a shotgun. You need a shotgun, man, it's got a good spread. It's easy to load, doesn't have a lot of working parts, got a good spread. He kept saying that, it's got a good spread. I'm like, what does that mean? He goes, well, that means you ain't gotta be that accurate. It's got a good spread. The further away you are, the more shit you hit. You got a good spread. In fact, you got a problem over here. You ain't even got to look. You just turn. Wow, that's it. You ain't got a problem over here anymore. Anything that was even remotely a problem ain't there anymore. Trust me. And then these people here, they saw what you. I'm seriously. <laughs> okay, the God Daddy. So what? <laughs> I can't admit more <laughs> in something and uh, then you, you hear his accents that he put on for that. <laughs> you just did here, you ain't got a problem here either. Feel me? Man in the graves taken care of right there. One shot. These people get smart, the flipping accent. over. Wow, that's it. It's got a good spread. <laughs> so I'm like laughing my ass off. I'm like, dude, look, I just want to shoot the guy. I don't have to do a bunch of drywall work, you know? <laughs> Reframe my diploma. Get my parakeet another friend, you know? I just want to shoot the guy. So I'm like, you know, how about, how about one of these pistols? So he does like that classic, like that redneck trailing off thing. Like, ah, you want a pistol? Go ahead and get a pistol. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know. I've just been here 20 years. You know? Get a shiny one, right? So I was like, what's wrong with getting a pistol? He goes, I'll tell you why, buddy. Because life, life ain't a movie. You feel me? I'm like, no. Can you please stop speaking in these backwards riddles? Can you just say what you're saying? I told you I don't know shit about guns. Come on, do me a solid here. What he goes, well, look, you ever watch a movie? Guy go blah, blah, blah. He, he kills three people. Real life, man, you miss. You miss all the fucking time. You miss enough times, man. You might as well, you're empty. You might as well just be standing there with a big stapler in your hand. No. Then what you gonna do? I was like, well, fuck it. Let's get the shotgun. <laughs> He's all ready to box the thing up, and then I'm like, wait a minute. I live with my girl. I can't just show up with a shotgun, right? That's not some shit you can just come home with. If I found this stool hey. on the side of the road, I can come home with this. Look at it. We can, we can refinish it. We can carve our initials mm. in it. We can have a good time, mm. right? You just show up with a shotgun. Hey, I got it for us, right? One barrel for you, one for me. No. So she kiboshes the whole thing. 
Till the other night, somebody broke into our car, sitting in the driveway. Starts fucking with her head, right? So she starts reading up on guns, you know? She's reading too much, because now she wants to get one, but she's just like, well, I heard you got to keep the bullets in the safe, keep the stock in the garage. And, it's, and then what? Then what, I run around the house and assemble it? There's some dudes chasing me with an ax? <laughs> Do I run around the yard assembly this? <laughs> what it says, you know, I it and have all different parts all over the house, all over the yard. <laughs> right? By the time you finish getting all parts, you who know what could happen. <laughs> you know, even oh, thinking no. this thing through, sweetheart. Just running around. Where's, where's the scope? It's in the living room. He's in the living room. <laughs> no, we're getting this thing. I want that fucking thing loaded right on the bedroom wall, right there. I'll put that thing in my jam jam sleeves, <laughs> just like that. There's no other point. That's funny though when you when you talk about getting a gun. You know, people like they either totally for it or completely against it. You know, they either go mm -hmm. nuts and start screaming, right? Well, they start throwing out those stats. Yeah, actually, you, you increase your chances of getting shot by 80% the second you get a gun in the house. Really? What, because I'm going to load it and shower with it? Like, eh, eh, eh. The fuck? I know it's no. dangerous. You get a pool in your backyard, you immediately increase your odds of drowning in your backyard, right? You couldn't do that before. Now you step on a rake, in you go. Oh, no. <laughs> No, I'm telling you, I don't buy in any of that shit. <laughs> oh no, guys, why did it end like that? I don't know. Why did it end like that? I guess there's a part two or more to it, I guess. I don't know, but it's um, clip. I know there's more because the way it was finished. All right, guys, yes. Oh. I can find the other part to it. All right, guys. Bill Murray, as usual, these jokes are just crazy. You know, and what he say, but in a sense, with the gun, yeah, it's either some people going to want it, or they're not going to want it. It's going to freak some people out. I'll be freak out with the gun in my house. I don't know. <laughs> I guess so. I guess some people are okay with it because when they think of it, especially in the neighborhood that they live in or something, but I don't know. Let me all hear what y'all think. So I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to live, love, and to laugh.